Thanks for joining us, everyone, and welcome to the 2021 Leopard Football Award Show. I'm Bo McCaslin, and joining me today is head football coach Brad Cheshire. The past year, it's been a wild and challenging ride for all of us. We experienced a spring where we saw student athletes have their seasons and special moments ripped away from them due to the pandemic. Coach, that's a devastating blow for the seniors of 2020. Thankfully, though, by the fall of 2020, guidelines were in place to allow the kids and teams to compete once again. But that didn't come without some unique challenges for coaches and players. Coach, it was a year where everyone really got creative, made some major adjustments to get the kids back on the field, and, and found a way for the kids to receive the benefits of being involved in athletics. One example of that, that's us being right here in the studio today. Unfortunately, uh, we were unable to uh, put on a sports banquet last year. And being uncertain about the possibilities for the spring, uh, the, the Leopard Booster Club, they came up with the great idea of an award show for each sport. And the students here at DQTV, they're super excited to help out. Coach, like I said, it was a challenging year for everyone. Throw in the fact this was your first year leading the program. I know it had to be a challenge for you, your staff, and your players. Yeah, and, and first of all, uh, Coach, I, I just want to start off by uh, saying thank you to a few people. And, and I, I think I speak on behalf of not just football, but every um, athletic organization that we have here and our school district is how well of a job that you guys do uh, with this Leopard Vision and uh, the, the students that you have involved. You know, that's something I look forward to every morning is just seeing that um, uh, that email come through and watching that video and, and, and getting a good laugh at, at Joe Boogity Blaze Bush, you know, and and uh, can't thank you guys enough just for, for, for um, uh, providing coverage uh, for our sports, uh, as well as, as all programs that uh, um, happen within our school. And uh, uh, our kids are seen, and that's what's important, yeah. you know. And so I can't thank you guys enough. Y'all had some outstanding highlight videos. Had a lot of coaches throughout the year that would text me and say, man, that highlight was awesome, you know. So you guys do a great job. Uh, I want to thank, just, just before I get going, I want to thank our, uh, our, our, our outstanding administration and teachers uh, with, with they, they do a tremendous job. Our schools do a tremendous job of, of integrating um, academics uh, and athletics. And, and without our teachers and support staff, uh, Leopard Athletics wouldn't be where it is today. You know, so I, I want to thank them. I want to thank our outstanding band, um, our cheerleaders that, that showed up every Friday. You know, obviously they were going through tough times as well, not just football. And, and, uh, but they were still there and, and supporting um, our football program and supporting our school. And I want to thank them. Um, I, I want to thank the, the, the churches, uh, our local churches here that provided pregame meals for us every single Friday. Those were outstanding. I want to thank Heather Williams uh, at, at Peak Therapy, uh, who, was, who was with us on the sideline of our football games and took care of our kids and, and uh, cared for them and, and uh, provided physical therapy if needed. I want to thank her, uh, KDQN, for their coverage that they do, and, and Jay Bunyard and uh, uh, the, the, the support that he gives our uh, athletic programs. And, and uh, Tony Stowers, uh, who's on the sidelines and, and uh, does stats. We're, you're lucky to have a guy like that, you know, who can help you with stats and does an outstanding job with those stats and, and uh, provides sideline coverage. And I want to thank our chain gangs, uh, our press box crew, and, uh, you know, J Coach Jake Lee for stepping in this year and, and taking over that PA and uh, Doug Dunson at the D-Queen B and, and um, uh, Miss Allison Woods, who led the, the Leopard Moms, who provided snacks, you know, every – every uh, Thursday night so that those kids, when they came in, they saw a, a goodie bag with uh, snacks and candy and, and things in it. And then, um, you know, our Leopard Booster Club, uh, led by Fawn Dykes, you know, they do an outstanding job of making sure that, that uh, we're provided with as many uh, resources and things that we need to be successful. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, there's a lot of people that I'm probably leaving out, but uh, uh, I, I just I can't thank those people enough. But, yeah, Coach, it, it, was, uh, it was a different year, not just for the D-Queen Leopards, but, but for everyone across our country. And, uh, you know, there, there were so many things that, that I wish we could have done that, that we weren't able to, you know. And, and uh, we were just talking about this in the office uh, just a couple of days ago that uh, uh, I was hired here full time March 2nd. Yeah. And um, two weeks after that, we were out, you know. So um, obviously I didn't get to build the relationship with some of these kids that I wish I could have, you mm -hmm. know, and, and uh, uh, was away for them, from them for, for the rest of that semester. And, um, we get to the summer and, and I'm scrambling trying to find ways to communicate with them and find ways to get to know them. And I'm still uh, uh, trying to introduce myself, you know. I mean, there was, there was baseball players at that time I didn't know. And, mm -hmm. and, and guys in track I didn't know. I didn't know who was on our team, you know, right. for the most part. And, uh, 
and, and then you get to the summer and, and had a decent turnout, but, but you know, during the summer things weren't mandatory uh, based on AAA regulations. And uh, we weren't able to do team camps and mm -hmm. seven on sevens, things that are necessary for growth and, and, and uh, for developing, you know, your, your team and those kids. And those are things that, that I wish we could have had, but I'm not complaining because right. we, we got to have a football season, you know, and I think about guys like you, you who you got your baseball season just stripped from you and, 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 and you're not worried about you, you're worried about the kids, right. you know, because it's about them. And, uh, and I feel for those kids last year, baseball, soccer, softball, track, all those spring sport athletes that, that got it stripped away, especially those seniors, you know, and that's tough. And, uh, but, but, uh, but we, we got to have a football season. And one thing that, that I had in my mind this summer was just find a way. Find a way to give these kids a football season, do the best that we possibly can. And, and it was hard on them, and it was hard on us just because it was new systems offensively, defensively, special teams, uh, new philosophies, you know, uh, new culture, I guess, you know. And so it, it, it was tough on those kids coming in. But, but I, I can't say enough just about the effort and the attitudes that they had. Being the new guy, you know, they gave me a chance. And um, um, obviously things didn't go the way that we wanted them to go this season in terms of success and win. And, and, and the win-loss column. But, but at the end of the day, I'm very grateful uh, for those kids. I'm grateful for the parents of those kids for allowing those kids to come. And, right. and um, I, I, I can't say enough of, uh, about them. And, and uh, I've told these guys this. And, and you know, the seniors. It's, it's the seniors that, 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 um, that, that hurts the most just because um, the things that I'm doing right now in offseason with our, our seventh through 11th grade, you know, I wasn't able to give that to those guys, you know. And, and uh, that, but, but at the end of the day, I'm glad that they got to finish their football season. Um, we, we, we got to play every game except one, right. you know, and, right. and uh, I haven't really looked at it to see uh, how many schools actually played every single game, but, but uh, there were many times this year when we were, we were there, were, there were times I think in the second half of the season we had 10 to 12 starters, you know, mm -hmm. that, that were quarantined because of right. close contact. I, there was not a single game this year that we had the same kids playing you know so we, we dealt with that adversity but but we almost got to finish the season until they're out there at the very end we're getting ready to load the bus and then we had to quarantine our offensive line and it's hard to play without them so but uh, but but I can't say enough about this team and I appreciate every one of them awesome. uh, despite all those challenges reflecting back on that season there, there were some pauses and stuff that gave you some excitement uh, leading into this next season what are those yeah absolutely and and just the uh, I guess the new philosophies that, that, that uh, I bring to the table as well as our coaching staff, uh, our kids are slowly buying into that. You know, change is hard. Right. Change is hard for everybody, no matter what it is. Not just football, but, but anything in life, change is hard. And, uh, uh, you know, when, when I was in high school, I went through three head coaches. And it's always hard because you get used to somebody. Yeah. You know, you build relationships with these different coaches. And it's always hard to try to transition uh, into a different, a different program or different culture or different philosophy. But, but, but our kids have, have really, I, I think, bought into that, you mm -hmm. know, and, and have given us a chance. And, and, uh, uh, and I've seen a lot of positives. And uh, the things that, that uh, we, we did this season, we're trying to carry over into this offseason, you know, and, and build on. Gotcha. Thank you, Coach. The time everybody's been waiting for, uh, the announcement of the 2020 Football Awards. And we'll start off by... Uh, announcing the selections for the all-conference teams, followed by the MVP of special teams and the offense and defensive MVPs as well. First up, though, is second team all-conference. We will say congratulations to sophomore Ty Lindsey, sophomore Donye Whitmore, junior Dylan Williamson, and seniors Oscar Fernandez and Gage Woods. And coach, I know you'll be losing the two seniors on that list, but you have to like the fact that some of those names will be back on the roster next yeah, year. Yeah, absolutely. There was a lot of production there. And, uh, you know, the, the, those seniors that we just named uh, were, were outstanding in terms of production. Uh, came to work every day with a great mindset and got better. But, uh, but yes, we, we, I really look forward to, to getting those young ones back and, and continuing to develop those kids and see, where, see if we can't climb the ladder and, 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 and hopefully get them to a first team all conference level. There you go. And speaking of first team, congratulations to senior George Vega, junior Jesus Marufo, aka Chewy, 
And the guy that seemed to always be in the backfield coach, uh, junior uh, Ricky Hernandez. Yeah, absolutely. And, and George had a good senior year for us defensively, had a lot of tackles, uh, a, a multi-sport athlete uh, that, that uh, is, is very successful. Uh, Chewy, uh, Enrique, you know, th those are two, when you talk about guys that are coming back, those are two huge leaders. Mm -hmm. in our football program and, and I think huge leaders just in our athletic organization as a whole also multi-sport athletes you know when you talk about those guys uh, those all-conference guys uh, they're all multi-sport athletes you know and that's something that's big here at D Queen uh, and, 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 and you know Enrique and Chewy are two that I think are going to be special here at D Queen uh, two very good soccer players as well but uh, very excited to get those two back. They're doing an outstanding job in the weight room in the offseason right now of leading our team. All right, Coach, we move to the Most Valuable Player Awards. And, Coach, uh, we're going to allow you to announce these winners, starting off with your special teams MVP. Yeah, we, we had a lot of guys that, that uh, obviously played a lot of special teams and had a lot of good production on special teams. But there's one guy that stood out to us on special teams, and that was sophomore Ty Lindsey. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ty Lindsey had 213 return yards, was on, was on every special teams, and, and you, you couldn't take him off. You know, a lot of times, uh, guys, when you think of special teams, they think, well, here's a time to take off, you know, because mm -hmm. obviously uh, people in the stands come to watch offense, they come to watch a little defense, but special teams gets overlooked. So we try to make special teams special, and, uh, and Ty Lindsey did an outstanding job this year uh, on, on our special teams. We say congratulations to Ty, and up next, your offensive MVP. Yeah, our offensive MVP. Uh, is uh, 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 sophomore Donye Whitmore, uh, who was our lead rusher at 580 yards with four touchdowns. A guy who has a very bright future here for the next two years as a leopard football player who in the offseason right now is just gaining a lot, gaining a lot of strength. He's getting tougher men mentally and physically and look forward to a great junior year from Donye. Good deal. And our final award is the defensive MVP. And coach, this one goes to a young man who also received a big award earlier in the year. Yeah, you talk about a guy who's valuable to your team. You talk about a guy who is productive, uh, not just defensively, but offensively as well. But our defensive player of the year, uh, also our Rotary Cup uh, MVP uh, on our Leopard football team is Gage Woods. Uh, Gage finished the season with 42 tackles, three tackles for loss, one pass breakup, two forced fumbles, and one fumble recovery. Also offensively rushed for 68 yards uh, for two touchdowns and threw for one touchdown. A guy who's valuable, a guy who is just uh, is always there for the team, was a big leader on our football team this year, uh, a, a very good baseball player as well, so, something, uh, somebody who's going to be successful in life, uh, a guy that I'll always talk about for the rest of my career. A guy you would like to have back. Absolutely. You know, and, and not just Gage, but all these guys. You know, I, I wish I had every single senior back this year so I can take them through spring ball, you know, and, and introduce them and, 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 and to, to philosophies and stuff throughout the spring and, and, and take them to uh, uh, our two team camps and take them to our three seven on sevens in July. Mm -hmm. You know, things that I wish I could have back, but, hey, you know, it, 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 that's out of our control, you know, and that's things that we talked about all year, so. Thank you, Coach. And I appreciate it. Congratulations to all of our winners, and we want to say a big thank you to all the players for their commitment and hard work and bringing back a sense of normalcy for us on Friday night. Yeah. Uh, before we go, Coach, just tell us a little bit uh, about the off-season program right now and uh, what you're excited about going into next season. we got about 60, 65 kids right now in off-season uh, that are working their tails off. Uh, we've been on a APRE strength, tro uh, strength program that uh, is a nine-week program. We're in week eight right now. We'll be maxing out the week before spring break. Uh, we've got a lot of guys that are gaining a lot of strength, gaining mm -hmm. a lot of weight. Um, and, and, and we weighed them just the other day, and our average uh, weight that we're, we're gaining right now is about 10 pounds per, per man. So uh, our guys are working hard, buying into the change. That's kind of our motto right now is just change. Mm -hmm. um, and, 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 and everything about who we are is changing in terms of uh, how we get dressed, how we get from, from point A to point B, uh, how we transition from, from lift to lift, how we go from man to man, um, how we, how we uh, listen, uh, how we act. Just everything's changing, you know, and, and our guys are buying into that, and I think they're excited, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled. Uh, I, I, just, I just pray that, that we don't get uh, – that, that what happened last year doesn't happen, and I don't think it will, uh, but, but uh, I, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, I, I look forward to uh, uh, continuing this journey with these kids uh, th this offseason and through spring ball and through the summer.
Thank you, Coach, and uh, we want to wish you and, and your players uh, the best of luck going into this fall. As we leave you, once again, we want to say congratulations to our winners. We also want to say a big, a big thank you to the Leopard Booster Club for all that they do for our, student, our Leopard student athletes. And remember, it's always a great day to be a Leopard.